one, one building buffer and this gap here is only one building buffer therefore that gap is sealed um, I hope you guys remember remember that um, um, formation uh, I really need to hurry up with this replay I don't I don't want to get I don't want to have this video be like six parts or something um, as of 8 o'clock so I'm going to uh, move on to um, wait that's it Oh, 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's card 10 o'clock. Okay, never mind. So I'm going to show you guys Lost Temple on a, the Ring of Chaos version of Lost Temple, which is exactly the same. Um, exact, not the creeps are different and um, uh, the tiles are different, but uh, the layout of the of the trees and the spawn points are exactly the same, like as in Frozen Throne and the uh, Ring of Chaos. Therefore, here we go. We're going to see, um, I think this is uh, 12 o'clock on uh, Lost Temple. Um, this actually took me a long time to figure out how to do this. I think this Lost Temple gives you a headache. A uh, twelve o'clock, of course. And I think twelve o'clock is one of the is the worst spawn position you can get as Zandead, um, <laughs> because it's so freaking hard to base block properly. I think you need a third Ziggurat for this as well. So it's gonna you're gonna delay your build order, or you can just risk it. Really, um, nobody's put a gun to your head to do this. Can risk it and risking hoping that Blade Master is uh, occupied with your DK, and uh, you don't need to block bl block the Blade Master for a while. Of course, uh, on the big maps like Gnaw Wood and uh, Lost Temple, it's uh, very unlikely Blade Master is going to go into your base until they are level three. Because first of all, they're not going to scout you. M more likely, they're not going to scout you right off the bat. Uh, especially on Gnaw Wood, it's pretty hard to scout. And uh, yeah, and uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and I um, mean on Lost Temple, it's really hard to scout because these, uh, because these, uh, um, these uh, ramps, and of course the, the you gotta from go from spawn to spawn. You need to go around instead of go straight instead of straight shots. You need to, you need to go actually go if you wanna say you wanna go from twelve to three. You gotta go down this ramp uh, across here and uh, go a around that little um, ramp again and reach the spawn point so it's really hard to scout um, especially if you miss uh, if you don't see anything the first time but anyway we're gonna see a graveyard here just to the graveyard is actually not a part of the base block and even if it seem, looks like it does uh, actually I'm gonna put a ziggurat here and ziggurat uh, to seal off this gap uh, this gap is not sealed by the way so uh, don't don't have illusions about it it's not gonna work um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I wait till a tree is chopped down before I put down the graveyard. Um, so the graveyard would, would be here. Uh, otherwise, you, uh, the one tree is blocking, actually blocking the graveyard. Anyway, here's come, I come my DK. Uh, and I think I played this out <laughs> for some reason. And um, yeah, I think I played this out. Um, I think it's versus a human. It's a normal computer, so anybody can beat it, really. Can, can beat it with 60 uh, APM. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't remember using on the APM during this game as well. Oh yeah, this game I did. Uh, I did fast, fast uh, destroyer rush versus them. I think did it span it then faster. Oh whatever, whatever. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna throw down third zero out here. Uh, sometime today, I think <laughs> going to be. I think I take the tier two before I did it. Here, here's a tier two tech. Um, and here comes a third zero. Nope. I don't have no. I don't know why I haven't gotten it. I think I was micro. Oh yeah, I was microing the my DK and see these uh, uh see the humans doing this. Here's a third ground. Now my base is properly blocked. You just have you have to have uh you have to trust trust me on this. This guy is not gonna get any let anybody through. Um, this guy is not gonna let anybody through. The thing that this is the thing. If you are undead and you have two ziggurats next to each other, you you can afford one um one mate building matrix to a to um, between these two ziggurats, I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um, one building matrix is say ziggurats three by three. I think farms are uh, two by two or three by three. Uh, human towers are two by two. Um, and so you can have um, one just uh, one building, um, one of those um, blocks between the ziggurats, and still going to deny hero access. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop this replay. Otherwise, this replay go like 20 minutes or something. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, just remember that formation. Uh, crypt, ziggurat, ziggurat, and uh, ziggurat. So you need three ziggurats to block it. And that's a 12 o'clock on Lost Temple. I think every everywhere else on Lost Temple is pretty easy. You don't need three ziggurats. You really need two. 
Um, by the way, um, if you don't face block properly, the, the way to do it, the way to uh, compensate is to have a new ring tower and um, and just keep looking at your mini map and just make sure you make sure you know where the blade master is. If you don't, uh, just get prepared. Uh, have a number uh, for those of you who have like double digit APM. <laughs> have your necropolis and number, put it like five or six or something. So when the blade master shows up, just tap tap that number. Double tap five or five or double tap six to come to go go back to your base. And uh, just to um, pull your ghost off the lumber, that's very important. And pull the zig pull the uh, acolytes away from the away from the blade master one by one, not not all five, just one by one. Whoever which one is getting attacked has to be pulled. Anyway, this is a three o'clock on um, on uh, what do you call it, Lost Temple, and we're gonna see. Uh, we, this strategy is different for, uh, than uh, some most of, most of the time. What do you do is actually um, what do you do is actually block. Uh, I'll